Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some decorative wine bottle little signs. So basically these will be painted, they'll have a phrase on them, and then they're going to have a little string from the top from this little hole that is on this wood slice that will be beaded with wood beads. So the first step is to paint these, and I'm gonna use some chalkboard paint. Honestly, you could really just use any black paint unless your intentions are to actually be able to change out what you say on it. But I am going to paint these and then, and actually it looks like my paint needs to be shaken up a little. There we go. Um, I'm going to paint them and then I'm going to use a white um, paint, like chalk marker to put the words on there. So I'm just doing it this way. I guess I could realistically, I could dump some paint on here. It might be a little easier. There we go. So I'm going to paint both of these and I want to go close to the edge, but not completely. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a, of like the wood showing through. And I would use an angled brush for this. This paint has been sitting too long, I can tell you that. It's getting a little, a little chunky. But it'll still work just fine, so. And this doesn't have to be perfect, as you can tell. I'm getting a little crazy in some spots here. And I'm gonna go back and touch up some of it, just trying to get it all spread out first. When you do the words on top in white, or I suppose you could do a color if you wanted. Um, if you are like me, I have, for being an art teacher, I have the worst handwriting ever. Half the time I have to ask one of the other art teachers I work with to write stuff out for me sometimes. Like I can draw letters if I'm trying to replicate a letter. I can certainly do that, but my goodness, my handwriting is just awful. So if you wanted to, you could get that little piece off. You could use like a Cricut and cut out, you know, whatever your phrase is going to be, your word, phrase, whatever. Or you could use, I know you can buy like in the scrapbooking aisle, like um, sticker letters essentially, if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to, let me finish these up. Um, when I return, you'll see, um, I'm going to leave, you know, a little bit of wood around the edge. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect by any means, but I'm gonna finish this up and when I return and once they are dry, I will show you how we do the letters. Now that my chalk paint is dry, um, before I go ahead and write on here with the chalk marker, I'm gonna go ahead and put my beaded like handle part. So that would be the part that would go over the wine bottle. So the idea is that this would hang around the smaller um, top part of the bottle. And I will say, once again, I have very bad handwriting. So when I write this in a minute, bear with me if it looks awful, um, I, Personally, would probably use a Cricut and print out the letters on vinyl and put them on, but for the sake of the tutorial and for people who might not necessarily have access to a Cricut, I'm going to use the paint marker. So what I'm doing now is I have some, this is just one millimeter twine. It's really thin. And the reason I want it to be thin is the holes on these wood beads that I'm going to use is not that big 
And there's gonna come a point where I have to run two strands through these. And I don't want to have to, you know, spend forever trying to shove two pieces through that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece that is about 20 inches long. That's gonna be really more than what you need, but it will allow you to have enough to tie it at the end. And I'm just going to start putting beads on. I'm not worrying about tying off the end or anything. And we're just gonna put enough of these on to get it about as long as, as you want it to be. It's really your preference. It generally takes about 20 or so to go around the neck of the wine bottle and then then it will come together and go through a few beads like both strands will come together and go through those so I'm putting these on let me speed this up so I have 20 on here now and it kind of is your preference on how loose so like how much you want it to hang down the bottle but I think 20 is a good number I'm going to bring my strands together now and if you want to tie a knot right there you can I don't think it's necessary but I'm going to put a few beads over both of the strands together Just like this. And then, so I put three beads on. Now I am going to So now I'm going to put the both strands through the hole of my wood slice. I'm gonna make sure that all of my beads are kind of pushed up into place so there's not like, you know, a large gap or anything like this. So push the beads up into place. And then I'm just going to tie this around. Let's do it. I need to make it a little bit tighter because I don't, again, I don't want there to be a gap in the beads. And that should be good. I'm then going to double knot this and then I will be ready to write my letters on. So I'm tying it really tight, trim off the extra. And there we go. Okay, so now I will write the letters on. Let's see how awful this turns out. Just kidding, hopefully it's not too bad. This is a um, white chalk marker. So sometimes you have to like push the tip down to get the paint to come out. So if you hear me, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so this one's going to say wine not. I wrote it on here with a pencil first. And I'm just going to follow what I've got on here. And we'll see how I do. There are a lot of cute phrases I've seen. One that says like, cheers y'all, I saw Look what I did. I wasn't even paying attention and I put a little dot right there. That's what happens when you talk and try to work at the same time. It's no big deal, I'll touch it up with a little black paint. So ignore that. And if you see any areas where the white doesn't quite show up as much, you can certainly go over it. And you're gonna see in the finished picture that I don't have that little dot there anymore. Plus in the finished picture, I have several other examples that I have made with some different phrases on it. 
Okay, so you get the idea. That's, you know, might not be perfect, but still cute. Pretend that little dot isn't there since I'm crazy and wasn't paying attention when I'm talking, trying to talk and work at the same time. But either way, um, no matter what phrase you put on there, you know, and these can be really cute for Christmas as well. If you wanted to paint them maybe red or green and do some white letters on it and do some Christmas phrases, that would be really cute for like a holiday party. So I will include links in the description below where you can purchase these supplies. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.